it's time to make laundry soap again. Now this is what I put in my laundry soap. And it usually lasts anywhere from six to eight months. I put three boxes of the Mule Team Borax, three boxes of the Arm & Hammer Super Washing Soda, not baking soda, four bottles of Purex Crystals, one large box of OxyClean, three bars of the Fells Naphtha, and I'll grind those up in a food processor, and then a bucket, and I put a bag in it so that whenever I get all my stuff in there and get it mixed up, I just close the bag up, and then that way it kind of helps keep a little moisture out because in my basement where my washer and dryer are, there is a little bit of moisture, so that kind of helps. I just wanted to note that all of them cost about $50, but if this lasts for about eight months, maybe even longer, because I have a larger quantity this time than I did the last time, and it lasted about six months. So this probably last eight, nine months, and for $50, that's pretty cheap. Okay, so all I'm going to do is I'm going to take the Vels Naptis soap, I've taken it out of the package, and I'm going to take it and I'm going to cut it up in smaller pieces so that it's easier to fit into my food processor. Okay, I've already cut up one bar and it kind of crumbles up into these little pieces. And then all you do is just put them into your food processor and I put it on my little shredder blade and then it should shred it up really good. Okay, as you can see, it looks like grated cheese and what it looks like when it's finished. Some people like to use a cheese grater to do this. I cheat and I use a food processor. People are like, why are you using your food processor? Won't that poison you? No, it's soap. You use it to wash your dishes, you use it to wash your body, you use it to wash your clothes. All you do is rinse it out really good with hot water and then wash it like you normally would to get all of it out. It's soap. Okay, so basically what I'm going to do is do this in parts. I'm going to use one of the Purex crystals in the bottom. Just dump that in there. And then I'm going to take one of the boxes of borax. I like to do it outside because it's well ventilated and it's powder, so it's going to kind of fly around a little bit. Then I'm going to take a little bit of the soap that we grated. About a third of what it was. Put that in there. Then I'm going to take one box of the Arm & Hammer. Then we're going to take a third of the OxyClean. I'm going to dump that in. And then what we're going to do is we're going to mix it all up. And that's what you're going to do is mix it up. And each layer, you're going to do the same thing. See, those are those little smelly crystals. And then go on to the next layer. Okay, so there it is. And you can see the bucket's almost full. And I just took the scoop out of the OxyClean container. When I put it into my washing machine, I do about a half of a scoop. That's all you need. I also wanted to mention that it might be a good idea to save the OxyClean bucket and lid because you can put some of that in there and be easier to keep around your washing machine. And then you can just put the bucket in another place kind of out of the way and then when you need to refill the little one you just go to the big bucket and of course fill it up but this would be more convenient to have near your washing machine don't forget to put the leftovers in the recycling bin